9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. My name, my name, my name is Dalgit. Welcome to the show. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hey, bring your tactics. That's what's happening today, man. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to try and uh, do a bit of bring your tactics where you get a chance to show me your if you have issues with your safe. Uh, please don't give me your safe. Just give me your tactics. Yes, correct. So for all those guys who are in early, here you go. This is the link. So if you want to share, if you need help with your tactic, that's the link. You can just pop your tactic in there and uh, it'll go straight to my Dropbox folder. No funny business along the way. We'll help you out. We've got a couple of tactics here today. Uh, I want to thank everybody for popping in. Sorry, the stream is a bit late. Uh, I'm not in my usual uh, football jersey as well because I was waiting for the missus to get home <laughs> so she can take care of the two little monsters in my house who have been gave, they gave me a stress headache today man <laughs> so much to do so much I have so much to do right so, plus I look after the kids every single day I homeschool them and I do this content as well so yeah and during periods of COVID which is kind of a challenging time but Enough of me. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are well. We've got Alpha, Alpha, the more live, Mr. Alpha. How are you, man? Andy C77, thanks for popping in. Matt Wood, how are you, man? Bivin, hello. Monsieur Unguruino. Hey, hello, man. Long time no see. You, yeah, you haven't been around for a while. Hope you're well. KCK, hope you're well too. Please wait five minutes. Do I freeze? Do I freeze? Do I freeze? Do I freeze? You know how difficult it is to teach them science at home? <laughs> so the day um, I was going to teach them about nature, right? So it was raining. So I took the umbrella. My wife flipped. She went like, what are you doing? I'm bringing the kids out. Why? Nature is raining. They need to learn about the water cycle. <laughs> she looks at me, what? <laughs> yeah. We're going to walk in the rain. We're going to experience the rain together. And that's how they remember. They'll always remember the water cycle as the day they got wet. <laughs> and then buoyancy science experiments is in the bathtub okay boys let's bring all your toys <laughs> why does this float and why does this sink you love buoyancy oh man I still have a uh, biology you go to the garden and plant things man I'm still trying to figure out physics physics should be easy right uh, so I'm trying to teach them about kinetic energy stored energy um yeah, Lang reading is a bit of a problem for my boys. I'm still trying to figure that one out because they, we, kids are in the age where they want to go to their iPads and their iPhones. So getting them to read is like such, an, such a difficult task, man. I got them to use their imaginations to tell stories. So the older one has got this story about a girl that he has to save because she is sick and she needs a purple rose which he, has, he can only find by climbing up a mountain along the way to the mountain he has to fight with um wait who's that character the the yellow the character of, uh what is it called oh my god the 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 yellow squarish character spongebob he's gonna do battle with spongebob and squarepants <laughs> spongebob squarepants i mean like i was listening to his story it's like wait yeah, daddy. So, uh, you know, this boy, he had to go up the mountain. He met Spongebob Squarepants. I'm like, huh? Where did this one come from? Then he goes like, yeah, carry on with the story. I'm, I'm intrigued, man. So what happened to the boy as he climbed up the mountain and did battle with Spongebob with Squarepants? Spongebob Squarepants. Then he corrects me. Oh, man. He goes out. So we had to do all that. But I still can't tell the difference between the and then. So that's that, the thing that drives me nuts. So I like, you know, and or the then. So I, I did all this. Uh, so, I, you know, you know, during COVID, we've got all these toilet roll paper, toilet rolls. So we got loads of toilet paper in the house nowadays, right? So I took all the toilet rolls, you know, when they, we were done, they got this cardboard cylindrical cardboard thing. So what I did was wrote words on it. 
Okay, so that would be a great exercise for the kids to learn words, right? So draw a word, window, and then I draw a window there, that kind of thing. Okay, so all these words are there. And then the uncle comes to the house and gives the boys a toy, like toy gun, a small little gun with a with little thing inside there to arrow. So what the guys, boys did, very ingenious. They took all the cylinders, they made it into a tower, and they sat down like 10 meters away and started shooting the toy gun at the cylinders. I was like, whoa. And they're damn naughty, man. Yeah. Oh, Matt Wood, it's you, Tenderball. Hey, welcome, man. Okay, the the link, I've put up the link for your tactics, right? So I want SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah, definitely, man. That's a lot of things. But I enjoy it. I do. I was terrible as a teacher in school. I had no, I had no patience. I, 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 my dad asked me during the holidays to go and do something worthwhile in my life. So yeah, this friend is a principal of an all-girls school. I'm 21 years old. You do not want to put a 21-year-old boy in an all-girls school. But they did. So I became a relief teacher. Thank God for that. And I had to teach them history. I went to an all-girls school. <laughs> Girls were like what? Secondary two, secondary one, secondary two, and my god, I had such a hard time in that class, man, because I could never get past the first 10 minutes of my name is Dalgit. And then, um, they said, Okay, you have to do assignments, and I go, like, Oh, shit, I have to prepare assignments, I have to test them. Oh, shit, this is gonna be tough. And I didn't last long, way. Lower something is something I like to see more of. I do low tempo, right? and then low tempo is nothing popped up on the link. Really? There should be a pop-up. But okay, let me check the link again. All right, there's a link. Uh, let me see if it works for me. I have to paste it here. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Boom. Dropbox. Oh, yeah. Shish kebabs. It didn't come up like that, right? It gives you straight to the Dropbox. Order. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Hang on a minute. Same link as last week. Wait, uh, uh, don't worry. Don't don't add the tactic first. I'll create a new request. It's easier that way. I thought the request would work. The guys on Discord for them is really easy, right? For them it's like they go, they get it. They have the standard every week. Yeah, I do a new request. Don't worry. Give me a moment. Uh, BYT FM twenty two. So I know public. Okay. All right. Okay. Create this box. We'll set a deadline. Okay. Copy. Done. Okay, where is it? There we go. Okay. Copy link. Done. Yeah, this link looks... That link looks a bit different. Correct, correct, correct. That link is very wrong. Very wrong. That was a very wrong link. Sorry, guys. Okay, here's the link, guys. This is the link you should be using. Bang. All right. Get that link. It's got a word request inside it. it has, I need the request word to show up. Okay. Uh, for the guys on Discord, it's really easy. You got the link already. It's in the Discord BYT channel. It's just pinned to the top. Right? So we've got a few there already. So uh, we're going to go in now straight away. We're going to use a Napoli again, right? Might as well do a Napoli save while we at it, right? Okay. Uh, so we've been using all your tactics so far on this um, save. So every single day, is a, every single match, we play a different tactic. And the best part is we have to wing it along the way, right? So, yeah. yeah. All right, let's go to inbox. Clear this first. Um, let's see tactics. I think we've got some tactics in. Oh, this is my own tactics. You can't see that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tactics, BYT. There we go. Today is 38, right? Okay, so we got a few here. we got Mr. Sexy Football. Mm, this is interesting. I don't know who sent this. Um, this is from here. Oh, Andy, this is your tactic. Okay, all right. Okay, this is interesting. Why is my phone going ting, 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 ting? Matt Wood. Okay, now I see a lot of tactics going through. Let's have... All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's uh let's look at the PIs and TIs first. Okay. No PIs. 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 Okay. One thing though, uh, let me explain. Uh, you guys, uh, when you do this right now, I would strongly recommend that you guys do opposition instructions. Right? Okay. So we're gonna put opposition instructions down for every single tank. We're not gonna bother changing it. But at least we're gonna put this down. Okay. So we're gonna do a trigger press on the back line. Do this in every single one of your games. Especially if you're playing like high lines. Um, if you're playing a high line, please do this, right? Just do this. Don't, 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 don't ask me why, just do it. <laughs> you know why? I'll tell you why, because SI told me to do it too. Okay, so I would strongly recommend you do that. 
because uh, a trigger in the game of football manager was like this this is a trigger press right it trigger i mean this is really bad wording because what actually happens is there are natural triggers in the game of football these natural triggers includes the guy turning his back loose touch you know lost control of the ball uh maybe his back is to goal or maybe he's back, he, he's near the touchline. Those are all triggers in football that encourage another the player closest to him to go and press him. Now, if these players happen to have a trigger on them, then this press tells the players nearby, hey, we're supposed to pay more attention to these guys, so make sure that we're pressing him. That's how it works. Now, show on two foot is supposed to close the player's angle. There was an issue early on um, in the beta that you couldn't get it done without doing this. Meaning there was a UI, it wasn't a problem because it was a UI issue. Because what will happen is when you go into the game, you always get a message from an ass man. Oh, you know, this guy is not being pressed, blah, 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 blah. We need to put a press. But you were like, hey, man, I did it on positions. It should be working. Actually, there's a UI bug. I forgot to tell you guys that last week. It's a UI bug in case you didn't know. All right. Okay. The other thing about uh, OIs, I might as well do a quick OI with you right now. Okay. How do OIs work? OIs change the clothes. Uh, OIs work when a, you know, this... Um, the show on two foot instructions are basically changing the angle of the press. It may not happen as a natural result. So it, you need to have a trigger, they'll go in. Otherwise, they will just try and close the angle of a player. They may not press him, but they'll shut down his angles. Okay, what does MR left foot means? If I do this, basically I'm telling my players, hey, when the winger gets the ball, I want you to show him inside. That's what this does. Okay, now I don't like that. I want wingers to cross the ball. So you put him on the right foot. Applies to the left as well. Now, here, the way I'm doing it is I'm basically showing them my angles. I'm ignoring whether they invert the winger or an inside forward, right? Okay, this is okay, but sometimes it can be a problem, right? So this is like a more tactical way of playing. However, if you are the kind of person that says, hey, man, I want to shut down. I don't like this player. You know, he's, he's got a really shitty foot and you know that for a fact. Then you can do show weaker foot. Probably show weaker foot is a lot of players have two good feet. So this show feet works some of the time, doesn't work all of the time. It depends on the player's agility, first touch, balance, dribbling, and all that other stuff, right? So so I normally just play a simple game, right? That kind of football that my coaches, I mean, when I was a kid, like, you know, 10 years old, you know, my bloody football coach tells me, hey, you know, don't let the person cross, uh, don't let the person come inside, cross, um, push him as far out of the pitch as possible. So what do I do? right foot this is like common sense football right i mean like this is how basic this is at the very basic level of football okay then strikers they get into the box what do you want to do what do you think a defender should be doing man when the strikers get inside the box get tight on them don't let them turn this is all. one big football 101 it's like the very basics of football right you don't need anyone to teach you this this is what you're supposed to know Okay, set pieces, corners, what are we going to do? We're going to leave it on default, right? I'm not going to bother with all this. I'm not going to change. If your tactics come in without that, I'm, look, I'm not changing it. All I know is, right now, corners, they're a bit bugged. Why? The best corner routine in the game doesn't matter. You can send it to... There's so many versions of near post that I have. Okay, let's just do this one. This is a near post routine. It works. Why? Boom. We just have this guy hitting the near post. It still works. Okay, the other thing is, you can send this guy forward as well. Problem in football manager at the moment is the goalkeeper. There's no payout. There's no. There's no like big payback for you leaving your goalkeeper in goal. Seriously, you might as well just send it forward because apparently the goalkeeper will resist the ball. He holds on to the ball. The opposing goalkeeper has got time to wave to his friend. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, you having a good game? Yeah, man. Thanks for the fuck. Thanks for the pass. That's what the opposing keeper does. He doesn't go. Hey, guess what? You stupid jack. I'm gonna throw the ball over your head. He doesn't do that. I've yet to see this goalkeeper do a quick release. So this is another option. So these are things that you can do in your corner routines. Okay, so we're going to drop all that. I got rid of all that. So we're not going to do that right now. Okay, I'm not taking advantage of the AI by doing PvP. Okay. How do you shut down the player who can play with either foot? That's a problem, right? So you have basically try your player has to make a decision. You can't really shut down a player who's good with either feet. So you have to make a decision in your head. When you see a tactic, like I see tactics inside forward. Oh. Okay, he's gonna come inside. I might as well show him the flanks. I so the strategy here is to deal with something in the game. You say I'm ex willing to accept corners and crosses, that kind of thing. So that's why I do it. Alright, and yeah, go get goalkeeper to mark keep. Uh get goalkeeper to mark keeper is another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. So up to you guys. I mean, like, you know, you wanna do that, do it. Don't wanna do that, it's up to you, man. Hey Derek, how are you? 
I'm, I'm just here to share my knowledge with you guys. Yeah. I personally, in my own games, I, I'm more interested in getting my um, key players to generate lots of key passes. I mean, outside of corners, free kicks and everything else. So I've, I'm obsessed with uh, a lot of key passes. All right, so here we go. Um, we've got Shadow Striker track, Shadow Striker, okay. BW ball winning DW, okay. This is a very defensive tactic. That's how the engines will handle it, okay. A lot of these, um, a lot of these uh, Shadow Striker formations basically now are playing very defensively. Um, so generally, you don't... Okay, when it comes to shared, uh, strikeless tactics, right? Balance is never a good idea. Right? Because your boys are going to play it safe. As you can see, you are the one... We are the ones struggling. Right? So... I wouldn't recommend sh first up doing that. And you might as well go to where you're thinking. You want to be as aggressive as you possibly can. Secondly, strikeless systems right now aren't a very good bet because the AI can actually come back and defend very, very well. Right, look at that. Now we're almost two down, right? So um, the problem with strikeless tactics right now is, okay, this is another one. You're too high. Okay, let's let's remove a lot of things. Work ball into box is not a strikeless friend. Okay. Uh, you want to roll it out as well because strikeless tactics need the ball to come out. So you want to roll it out instead of uh, doing that. Then you want to also, you see this much higher defensive line? A chip is going to be up your, it's going to get past your line. So you also want to have a standard defensive line. You might also want to raise your tempo a bit more, run at the defense. These are things, basic settings for most strikeless tactics. Um, yeah, so you got to look at the roles as well. Okay, so we still haven't got control of the game. Have you noticed? We're still defending a lot because strikeless systems tend to be quite defensive. Bang. Okay, another problem now. All right, so we got to fix all this very quickly. Otherwise, we're going to lose this game. All right, why, why center back support? We're going to move this guy. Oops, ups. Let's get back into this. What are the tactics? Uh, okay, no, I'm going to go ball playing defender on defense and I'm going to tell him to stay wider. Why not white center back? Okay, we have a slight problem with the white center back at the moment, right? He's giving up space. Okay, um, that girl, huh? wait, wait, hold on, Mark Taita, stay wider. This is a white center back idiot. Or playing defender, uh, stay wider. Okay, all right, second thing I want to come in here and do is, okay, this is fine, all right. Um, we don't have a register, he's going to run all over the place. Let's drop him down to an anchor. Okay, this guy comes in here, this guy comes in here, maybe... Oh, Libero. Okay, we don't want a libero as well. Okay, you when you play a libero, it's very funky. I, I like it, but you might have an issue here. The defensive winger, defensive winger is fine, but here you actually want them to get further forward. They're too deep right now. Okay. okay. The other thing here is this tactic here with these players, you might as well do this. Get them to close down a bit more. And then get these guys to close down a bit more. Okay. Roaming from position is definitely something that they can do. All right, so we roam. There's a lot of TS. I'm, I'm pressing a lot of PS. We are, we are trying to service this match. Here, Tricotista is not a very good idea because he's going to drop deep. You got you need players now to push up, right? Okay. So this this role, I would probably turn him into like an advanced playmaker, maybe on a tank. And then get him to roam from position, move into chance, get further forward, tackle other Mark Taita. Or I can remove this because he's going to drop up. He's going to drop her up, drop off. Okay, now I've got Anchorman. we got a ball winning midfielder. What can the ball winning midfielder do? Now, the thing about a ball winning midfielder is, yeah, we remove this. This is my fault. Right? I, I reported this to website. You can't use this anymore. Previously, in uh, Football Manager um, 2021, we could. Right? Well, because like, you could put him here, it became an exploit. Because we had this get further forward in this position, now it's been now it's been uh, removed. Okay, what you can do in the other hand is the other exploit role hasn't been removed. This one. Yeah. So you got Segundo Volante get for. Uh, can I say dribble more? Shoot less often. Actually, you shoot less. Uh, dribble more is okay. You want him to carry the ball. Okay. This anchor man, right? Typically, you want him to be a player that plays short, simple passes. Okay. Now we got this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna focus, focus. We're gonna use these guys to bring up the ball. Alright. Because right, we definitely have to salvage something from this game. Alright, pass into uh pass into space, maybe a 
may be okay if these guys have got um likes to uh what do they have got they have place one two so they don't mm. they don't have much acceleration this is going to be a struggle for us man Zelinski maybe who says Dries Mertens Dries Mertens is okay on the flanks okay so we put Dries Mertens here Zelinski is not bad I think passing vision decisions flat okay you can play him here all right let's hope this works we got Insignia and Politano that's fine okay these two guys are actually very attacking uh, we got two attacking players we got Fabian Sanguisa Sanguisa what does he bring play short simple passes okay good we want him to come here who's Fabian Fabian has got runs with ball often good Okay, so we'll put him here. He's going to dribble the ball. All right, hopefully this works, man. Hopefully this works. You can also change the register to a DLP. A better still, change the roaming playmaker. DLP is going to hold the ball. In fact, changing the roaming playmaker is better. I, pr I much prefer these two guys being... Okay, the other option is we turn these guys into roamings. Roaming playmaker on support. Now, I, with this roaming playmaker on support, actually, I can get him to move into the channel. He'll come in here to support this player. So we go one, two. Libero. Hmm. Okay, what we can do with this role is just be a ball playing defender. I know you want the Libero to do the zoom, zoom, zoom passes, but it's not going to work with striker systems. Because you want striker systems to keep the ball and then break the transition down here for the AI, right? You want to break them down here when they have the ball. But if you get this guy playing all these early passes out, then you're just going to give the ball away. Okay, we managed to curb their attacking nonsense, right? Okay. Okay, let's see whether we can win the second ball. Okay. Okay, now we're pressing a bit more. Still. Still having this... Okay, Kula Bali. Okay, good. Still no use. Mm. Okay, we're gonna take. Now we want this guy to do something different. Um, I want the I want the ball playing defenders nonsense, which he likes to. Uh, shit, I can't do that. No. Mm. He's got this. Take more risk. Furious. Okay. I'm trying to reduce the likelihood that's gonna ping the ball up. Uh, we just saw one, right? Yeah. This is gonna be tough. Striker systems are not very good right now. Because the, they nerfed quite a few things for striker systems. I just want him to keep the ball. Yeah. Okay, good. Insignia. To Anguissa. To Mertens. Okay. Anguissa. Short, simple passes. Yeah, that's what we want to see them do. Uh, we gave the ball away. Because the DW didn't come up the pitch. It's not going to be easy, man, to fix. I should have come in with... I should have checked the, the team lineup. Uh, they went for the same ball and they scored another goal we are gonna get canned in this game mm -hmm. Wait, I I drop you down to a thanking take you off put OC man take you off you got to play as well. Your Dries Mertens can play an insignia, no. Um, well, quit. Yeah, two. We're probably not going to win this game. My advice is actually to, to not use strikeless systems. We changed the guy to a defensive winger, right? Okay. So we brought on, what's his name? Um, Malcute on the left and the right. And then we brought in Ossiman. 
this we need we need players that can finish accelerate you need excel the thing is those two ams these two AMs better be fast so i'll see man we know it's very fast right so let's hopefully we can salvage one more right okay um That is offside. I don't understand how the that player was onside. He just you can see himself offside a mile away, right? Hey Alexandra. Yeah, but he's playing strikeless. So I don't want he, he was giving the ball away, so we had to change it to CD straight away. And white center back, not very good for strikeless systems. So I want to keep the ball. If I play ball playing defender, ball playing defender is just going to go long with the pass. Yeah. So that's going to be a problem. Especially now that the defenders are so good at come getting behind the ball. That would not have been wise. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we can actually get the ball cycling from defense up to attack, which was not possible with the ball playing defender. So now we keep the ball and then we use this transitions to bring the ball up the pitch unfortunate bang come on yeah that's what we want to see we want to see that kind of those players winning the ball from those positions which was something that we couldn't do earlier so if you want to that's why also we change this role from a libero to a ball playing defender on cover if there's going to be anybody running with the ball is the ball playing defender in the middle that's the only one the two white center backs have to give the ball have to allow us these two guys have to allow us to bring the ball using these three guys right these three guys so these two have to be center backs if this guy is a ball playing defender he'll bring the ball up okay she is going to go for one over the top it's not going to work why defenders get behind the ball too easily All right or roaming playmaker volante or you go roaming playmaker roaming playmaker another one is roaming playmaker roaming playmaker double roaming playmakers then they got this. Yeah. Also can work. It's also a good option. And we're not we're not playing the game of oh this role is not good for him. No, we're playing to the engine. I'm not playing the game where oh you know my player is uh, not good enough to be a roaming playmaker or whatever. Off the ball and positioning is enough as long as they keep the ball. The reason why we're playing a roaming playmaker is that is actually the best role for that position. Second best role will be the volante. And then you got the DMs. Yeah, so these are the order in which I take it in. Especially if you're playing double, and then we wish we, which is what we're doing right now. So now he wins the ball, right? He keeps the ball. That's what we want to do. We don't want him to play the ball over the top. Because they're going to lose the ball if they do that. So these players on the flanks can play the ball over the top. Why? Because they are going to be in a very good... They're already in a half space, right? So when they're moving the ball in the half spaces, they can hit the early cross. That's when we tweak the tactic even more. So if you want to tweak the tactic, you tweak it then. So this is playing a lot better now. So that's how we change your tactic. Yeah, which is wow, we survived, man. We survived. We could have lost, we could have lost this game. Damn it, what a escape, man. So here I'll go like this. Change these two roles to uh if you play white center back, you might have gaps, right? So if you want to do white center back, you can, but this role, make it a ball playing defender. So you get somebody bringing the ball up. So you can go roaming playmaker, roaming playmaker. Don't play a register. It's too static. Defensive midfielder support, roaming playmaker. Or you can go defensive midfielder support, segundo volante. But in all of them, you got to add the PIs. This, 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 this. Move into channels. You need him to move here. You need this guy to move here. Then you want to come in here, add a focus and no focus. Then you remove this because this says give me give put the ball out to the flanks all the time. You don't want that. Not for a strikeless tactic. Especially if you're not getting if you're not sure, right, up against the opposition, you start like this. You only go here. You only go here 
if you want to stretch the play and you're very confident that your players can pass the ball and you know it, they won't intercept the ball otherwise don't do that start standard is always okay so we went like this 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 we removed this we went right at defense because you know it's always the go-to for strikeless tactics leave it like that you can drop the line to standard because or higher uh the the for strikeless tactics you never want to play like this because then a chip comes over gets over the top of your tactics so you either play a standard or higher Secondly, always play on attacking or very attacking mentality. This is fine for a start. Then um, this role should not be a track because it's going to drop too deep, right? And then you don't get anybody playing the ball to these guys. So this guy can be an advanced playmaker on attack. Now, these two roles have to be with uh, players that are very fast. So I would definitely come in here. You can do move into channels, roaming, mark, and do this. All right, those PIs. And then you come inside here, repeat the PIs there as well. Okay. Same thing. Then come in here, add those PIs. Why do you want this? Because you want him to press higher than the rest of the group. Right? So this is fine. Okay, we go do do do. Okay, these two roles are fine defensive fingers, but you want them to get further forward because they're going to be very flat in your tactic. So you need this guy to get higher up the pitch. Because you see that, otherwise your, your players are so close together, there's no, we have for you to transition the ball very smoothly. So this is what you need to do with your tactic. Okay. Let's do the next one, man. Okay, next tactic. Oops. Let's go down. Da, 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 da. Let's be YT again. There we go. Okay. 38. 4 to 4. Oh my goodness. The good old fashioned 4 to 4. Alright. I can't believe it. I might we might get fired from this job. <laughs> if we get fired, we have to pick another team to, you know, do this kind of tactics with. I don't mind see how far we can get uh with Napoli, right? <laughs> Where I change tactics every time. I believe that's I guess I don't like them. Yeah, strike is not that good. What's the real effect of using pass into space? Increases risk, right? Players' risk uh, factor goes up. They're willing to try more risky things uh, when you play pass into space. That means that they will play the ball um, in between the channels. Uh, they'll take risky passes all the time. That's what it, that's what happens. If you remember, yeah, you posted one of uh, your one of your academies getting pushed. One of your academy players getting pushed by Real Madrid, right? It means that uh, their high reputation team. It means that you are churning out good players for you to have taken notice. Yep, and congratulations. But it also means that now the AI is a bit playing a bit more smarter as well, which is what we always wanted. Because previous editions, we could just create one day kids and then we basically had a baby factory, right? You left me a message in the okay. I'll oh, tactic this is just a message. Okay, shit. Okay, wait, hold on. How do I get the message again? Tactic. I have to actually look at the message, right? Load. I didn't read the message. Love messages. I got to read, man. It's effort when you guys put in the love message. Okay. Oh man, I didn't bring my water with me. I stream to struggle to maintain good passing with this formation. Worst passes on the scattergram if you and also conceding too easily in last minute. How can I solve this? Ah, okay, yeah. Okay, four two fours have got this problem, right? You got to keep the ball. You have to keep the ball. This underlap is not your friend. <laughs> yeah, all right. We can keep the underlap, but your passing fairly wide standard mix. So you're basically asking your players to give up the ball as well. That's the other problem. <laughs> okay, um, CD Bob. Okay, in this kind of tactics, I rather you play with double ball playing defenders. You need both of them to bring the ball up. You got a central midfielder on defense. You got a roaming playmaker that's good. Wing bound support. Uh, DLF on attack. You've got this guy moving forward. You, this guy roaming. You, chances are you're going to lose the ball here. You got wing backs that need to bring the ball up the pitch all the time. So they're going to dribble a lot more. Your op One of your options is actually to tell this guy to sit a bit narrow. Brings out the pitch. Gives you a bit of options to play the ball. This guy sitting in this pocket here will might be able to look at uh, unleashing. I will probably move the DLF at, on attack here and advance while we're here. To give you, a, I like, I mean, both can work. DLF drops the attack here, holds up the ball, holds up the ball for the winger overlapping. Roaming playmaker drifts around here. Hmm, could work. Could work. This kind of tactic demands that you're going to press. But you counter press, you've got a lot of these players moving up. It's a, it's a dominating. This is a tactic that seeks to dominate. 
it, uh, yeah, slightly more often is not good enough. You're gonna have to press a bit more aggressively. Like, you know, I would do this with your players. Put a press on opposition players all the time. Right, with these guys. With this player, you want to basically do the same thing. Mark tighter, tackle harder can definitely be included. I would definitely go this to this. All right. Uh, in fact, with this player, you probably want to sit a bit narrow. Okay, we're not going to do all this. We're going to see your tactic play out first, right? I'm already making changes even before I play the game. But later with some of the other tactics, I'll just make changes straight away. That's it. Right. We might play with some of these tactics. We might not. Okay, move into channels is fine. So this is all here, right? I didn't change anything else. Okay, let's go and play. Did I change anything else? No. Okay, we're going to play the first game. Quick pick. For Seaman Insignia. What's wrong with Insignia? Right, needs a rest. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Lozano, you can come. What the hell's wrong with Insignia? You need a break? Have a Kit Kat instead, man. Buddy. Good. Useless player. We're going to be fired, man. Napoli is not top of the table. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go. Okay. I'll take two, three tactics from public and the rest from Discord. Okay. So let's see what we can do. Okay. Once again, we're going to look at the link up play between all these players, right? So sometimes you can use other skins as well that give you heat maps, gives you a bigger clue. Goalkeeper kicking long. Yeah, that's not too bad. Eh? That's a good distribution. Instruction. Politano gets the ball. Puts it into the box. That's not too bad. You're, you see, it could be a function of your players themselves. This kind of a setup needs good players as well. Okay. Maximov. Yep. But you know, underlap. He's going to look for runs from the inside. No, this is an early pass. Underlap wasn't really necessary here. Because underlap says he's going to hold up the ball looking for inside runs. Who's going to make him give him the inside run? Nobody. This underlap. This underlap. Who's underlapping for him? Think about it. He holds up the ball. Who's he giving the ball to? He's not giving it to this guy. This guy is too far forward. So, this underlap is not. Just only serves to increase the mentality of this player and check the mentality of this player. So, you don't want it in there. So you get what I mean? That's why we had that little breakup of play just now on the left flank. So now the left flank yeah, is not too bad. Okay, so Irving Lozano. Now Irving Lozano is not going to be held back by his uh, friend. So the first thing you remove is underlap in instruction. You don't need any, you don't need to remove anything else. This kind of a tactic demands that your players be reasonably good. Four two four is a very very strong. Okay, now I'm going to do something in your four two four. It makes no sense, but you just let's see with let's see if the logic in my head is going to work. Yeah, this absolutely makes no sense, right? We're gonna do this. I'm gonna just turn everybody on attack with the egg. What is wrong with this skin? Today? I'm pressing the wrong buttons, I think. There's a there's a hot key here somewhere that's sending me out. Stop, pause. Okay. Uh we're gonna turn it into a tank. We're turning on a tank. Okay. Bang bang bang. Okay, and this is how you use attack. You can use attack duties. Now you go uh now we go overlap. Overlap. And no. Underlap. Okay, why underlap? He's going to hold up the ball for somebody running right inside. Guess who's coming? What do we mean on Okay. So now we got play our defense and keep the ball. Uh, play our defense is kind of funky, but you know, if you play our defense, means everybody's going to bring the ball up, right? Okay, counter, counter press. This is very aggressive already. Roll it out. Who backs this in the backs? Okay. Use tighter marking. Use the offside trap. And. Oh, okay, we'll leave it like this. This is a more aggressive version of the same tactic. I don't even know if it's going to work, but there's a there's a, there's a voice in my head that says it will. In the year 20, 20, 25, 26, come on, guys. Chris Mertens. Okay, the corner routines, we didn't set it up, right? Or is the, that or is yours? Because you will come in corner routines. Okay. He pressing the goalkeeper, goalkeeper. Okay, that's it. Good ball. Okay, that holds up the ball because of the, what is that? We have the underlap. He's looking for his players on the inside running. He does. Checks it. Boom. One over the top. Osiman gets inside. Rounds the keeper. Gives us a goal. You know what? It's working there. The underlap. That's the underlap, right? So it holds up the ball. Because the underlap is going to encourage the guy as well to hold up the ball a bit, right? So he holds up the ball here. And then comes inside. Looks for somebody. Plays it to this guy. Guy, Dries Mertens one over the top because he's a DLF on attack. 
Yeah. This is definitely workable, but it's something that you might want to think about if you want to use attack, a lot of attack duties. Viable. Okay. Okay, so this is very aggressive. So we're running like crazy right now. This is how you use a lot of attack duties. You use the underlap on the overlap. But I'm the I'm the king of the overlap underlap, man. I don't think anybody uses them as good as, as well as me. Because overlap and underlap is very, very useful if you know how to use it. Okay. Alright, so now we got a lot of yellow cards, right? Because this thing is up. Okay. We're gonna take this. Uh who's this guy? Jesus. Can he pray well for us? Can okay, come in. I don't know if he's good, but we'll just put him there. Or rather we undo it. I see I recognize another player if I was easier. Okay, these two yellow cards, right? We gotta take them off. All right, Lobot card can come one for Fabian. Okay. Uh they're gonna take out one more player. Diego them for Polinski, okay. Notice, right? Now, we don't know who we're bringing on. I did look at the attributes or whatever, but roughly, I think Diego Dem can do his job. So, I would just change your tactic. The first version of the tactic is what I showed you. The second version is very risky, but definitely worth trying. Oh, man. We consider the goal from a bloody corner. Then, I'll go to the technical area and throw a bottle and a hissy fit. Okay, the inverter wing back is just charging up the pitch right now. Look at his ratings, man. He's like... Yeah, we should take this guy off. Yep, yeah, it works. Yeah, is it on comprehensive? Yeah, key highlights. A lot of highlights, man, for... Bang, another open goal. But it's offside, right? He might be offside. But if he's not offside, right, just go and get a uh, train a player to try uh, uh, likes to beat off center. Yeah. You gotta score a lot of goals like this, man. Because uh because of the way overlap and underlap works. Boom. Another one. Yep. And that's a winger, right? This guy. Because we know this is gonna work. Because this guy's gonna hold up the ball, looking for a run, and he does that. Boom. And that's because of the overlap. Because the overlap encourages the person to hold up the ball. Uh, we just this is a goal fest. Uh, we're just gonna see a lot of goals. Okay, so if goals are coming, uh, what can we do? Oh, da, 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 we drop this then. Okay. Uh, prevent short goalkeeper distribution. Okay. Ball playing defender is good. The only thing about ball playing defenders is Everton wing backs. If you put them together, they're always going to be like trying to get, trying to be the star of the team. But both of them will be able to do it, right? But okay, what you do in this case, right? You see this two like this? You turn this guy into a central defender on defense. Okay. Then the inverted wing back becomes a supremo. Then he becomes a star. Otherwise, what you're going to see is these two guys juggling to decide who's going to bring the ball up. Okay, so you go inverted wing back, central defender. That's it. The central defender will pass it to the inverted wing back. Inverted wing back will bring it as far as the roaming playmaker. Then he'll make a decision whether to give the ball or to carry on. They make the change. This guy is going to start playing a lot better. This combination is going to start ripping the team apart. Offside, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What do you, if you told the players to stay on feet, in, um, yeah, they, then they probably won't tackle half the time, they won't go to the ground. Yeah. You can, after like 77 minutes right now, if you, you can tell them to stay on feet, right? Just stay on feet right now. You can. They won't dive in hard or tackles and the not, no, I mean, yeah, you can do that if you want to. Let's see, we can see what happens right now. Okay, see this, now this guy doesn't owe sheesh kebabs. That's the downside of the ball playing defender, right? That's the only downside. Because we have this aggressive wing back running out already. But the player in front of him, the central midfielder on defense, should have come sleep to get the ball to solve that problem. Now all these guys want to run with the ball. Uh, see how good, this is the reason why I did that. 
Because this guy is insane how... Because in SI, in wanting to fix the problem with the strikers' tactics, just made defenses so good at coming behind... I don't know, getting behind the ball. They just... That's what happened in FM22. Because you're obsessed with, uh, I think, this addition to fix the strikeless problem. They had, they had a challenge with strikeless tactics. Okay. Done. Ready. It's a, a Maximovich, you're going to make coffee and cookies for you all? Oh, nice of you, man. Man, that's my weakness. Coffee and cookies. My wife sees me in the house. She goes like, we, we, me and my wife go shopping, right? She'll find me in the cookie section. <laughs> Going mental over all the cookies. I'm like, oh my God, these are Marks and Spencer's cookies. We don't get them from here, anywhere around here. So I want to get, so I go like, okay, I want those cookies. All right. Next tactic. Croy, no explanation. Slip key. This is an origin. Hang on. Slip key. This looks, I, we're all obsessed with the same shape, I think. All of us are obsessed with the same shit. Okay, wait. we got a holiday until the next match. And this is every game. First, I need to see the tactic to see what we might need to bring. Okay, let's go. Zelinski cannot, uh, he cannot play here. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna die, man. Zelinski plays there. Yeah, this position, car, they go them. Okay, they okay, go them instead. All right, we got them. Fabian is a good player, so I'm gonna leave him here. He will always dribble the ball up. Why center back? We got Jesus. Composure concentration. No, 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 no. It can't work, man. If I play him there, we're in trouble. Kulubali is not that good either. First touch is quite poor. Dribbling can't dribble to save his life. Here we go. Here we go. Manolas is basically. Wow. Ramani. Okay, who else we got defenders? This team doesn't have very good central defenders for this kind of a tactic. Probably I don't want to use it is because his concentration is very low. Eleven, uh, eight. We lose the ball to him. Okay, short passing play, whole shape counter press. Okay, let's see what happens, right? Okay. Please tell me you've got uh -huh. Ouch! You're, you're doing this. It could be a problem. It could be a problem. I'm not saying it is going to be a problem. Okay, cool. All right, let's go. No, I haven't. I haven't. Uh, haven't popped. Haven't gone there to look at the tactics yet. Yeah, I'm just. Uh, where's the? I'll request BYT public. I see seven tactics in there already. I'll pick the first four or five. Five after that. Okay, we'll pick only these tactics that are in there. And yeah, no more. So Akim Bobis, 815, clocks up. Yeah, no more tactics after that from uh, the rest. Okay. I, I show you the I think I can see the tactics. Nope. <laughs> Wrong screen. I'll show you guys what I mean. I know I should be doing, I should have gotten this ready. But, you know. Yeah, these are the tactics I got from all of you guys. We're going to use these tactics later. All right, coming in here. This is us. We are playing the uh, total football tactic. This is the total football system, right? Uh, we got all, every one of us is going to end up with basically this kind of a setup for the total football system. A 3-1, 3 one 3, one, four, uh, three, uh, three, four, three diamond. Uh, the alternative is to play these guys as wingers. Yeah, there's something that I forgot to tell you guys. You can actually play these guys as wingers on attack as well. Can also work. Then this guy has to become like an APA. Yeah, you got this guy is holding up too much. Yeah. I mean, I'm not talking about 
total replication. I'm talking about making it work. That's it. So at the moment, as you can see, right, what's happening is uh, there's hardly any pressing. See that? How easily the ball got through our defense. Okay, now we're going to change it. 45 minutes in already. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. First, I'm going to drop this. I'm going to add this. Okay. We're not, I'm not talking about being a purist and making it work. I'm just talking about um, making sure that I get it to do what I want it to do. Win the ball. Because if you remember, there was counter pressing back then already. And you're supposed, we are supposed to win the ball. If you're going to do this, I'd rather you play this in the APS or APA. Right? Remember, he doesn't, he doesn't get forward anyway. Right? So we got this guy. Okay, another option, right, is to play, play these two roles here. Okay, so let's, let's see what happens, right? That's one other option. Oh, yeah, what we also have forgot to do is this. Bang, we started the marking across the pitch. Everybody else is going to do title marking. I'm not suggesting that my way is the only way, but I just wanted to highlight to you there's certain options. So I mind using a link dropout. Okay, okay, okay. No worries. That's the public list. Uh, Jahid, it's not the other list that I was looking at the public dropbox, not the, uh, the Discord dropbox. See, when you play with wingers, right, you still get the attack pattern that you want, which is into the final third with those players, right? You still get it. Right. I'll, you can also turn these guys into inverted wingers they can attack this way. And one of the reasons why I switched to this is because they are playing with a very deep uh, wing backs. So, that's one way. I mean, yeah, ideally I should be playing high up the pitch, but that's one option. You can definitely think of that as an option for you to consider. Don't you dare score, man. I'm going to get so mad. Okay. Alright, now we go back to your one, right? So we got this two wingers. Now here, if I play wingers, if I play wingers as support, they're all going to be looking to create chances. Like, well, who is coming in to create, score those chances? That's a problem. We're going to do this as a Mazala on support. Mazala on support. Okay. Now what is going to happen is these guys are going to come to the flanks. We've got now got two sets of players trying to make things happen. Here, halfback might be a bit too aggressive. Might be a bit too aggressive. Whole shape. Counter. If you hold shape here, they'll be very patient. So your tempo has to be low, okay? Alright. And then, um, okay, we'll, we'll try this out first, okay? okay? We try to be this, the more patient, try and build up kind of thing. But I would recommend that in some of your matches, you might have to consider changing that. Right? You, you might want to think of, uh, you might want to think of um, being a bit more aggressive in the final turn. This is Mazala is going to move in here and look, look for somebody to give the ball to. But everybody else is creating. Like, you got Winger creating. You got F9 creating. You got A... You got now got AP creating. So you got to decide. Some of those players have to get into the box. Right now, we got nobody. This is a question we're not sure. We're not sure. So, you can see, right? The moment I added the AP, we got one guy charging into the, charging through the middle already. That's about it. So we get, we get, it's just a small thing. You need an attack, you, you need somebody to attack the box. So I had to pick one. The best one is actually the, the AM player in the middle and I use an AP instead. No, the Mazala also goes wider. Mazala and the Carrero both go either, except the Carrero is not likely to, um, it's not as creative as the, as the Mazala, unless you have a player with high passing vision decisions and flair, then yes, put, put him as a Carrero, right? I'm not sure about these players, so I went Mazala straight away, because I know Mazala tend to be a bit more creative. So you're going to get a lot of nice movement patterns after that. Ben, because I'm not sh because the thing is here, I'm not sure. That's why I went Mazala first as the first option. Yeah, you can go Carillo with the place. All right, so not too bad. 
kind of simple. I've got a very, I don't know if you guys saw my Discord IX uh, Total Football Tactic. I have one on there as well. Call it IX Retro, right? Before the, I think during the beta, it was very, very strong. Then after the beta, it's still okay, it's still decent. Yeah. It's still a workable tactic. But it's hopeless in PvP. PvP is not that good. This, uh, Fenerbahce don't like playing against our total football system. They keep bringing our players down because they don't know where they're going to be running to next. Okay, that's it. Done and dusted. Okay, we got another... Then I'm going to pick up the tactics from Discord. There are some more tactics on Discord I haven't gotten. This is the first round before I started the show. So if any of you others have popped in tactics, I haven't seen it yet. So I'm going to get it soon. I like my total football. And then I have, I have also have one. I tried creating Gasparini's Atlanta rotating diamonds. Okay, to a certain to a point is is there, but you know the problem with Gasparini system is we can't get the rotating diamonds to work, right? That doesn't that you can't do that on football manager. All right, uh, let's go for the the last tactic of the first round. Okay, so we got this Honved Alpha, your tactic. Okay. Okay, he's gonna be a goal scorer, just remember that. Okay, so you have to look at his ratings. Now he's finishing 11 and 14, so less holiday mode. Okay, tactic and work. Yeah, just have to remember that now, where you once use the inside forward to diagonally run into the box, think of him as one of several roles. He's gonna be in, he's gonna arrive in the box to score goals, so he could also be a round router. Now, you can play him as a round router if you want. Inside forward on attack will check back and then sometimes pass the ball. He'll, he'll pass the ball to somebody inside here. Inverted winger on attack is going to be a goal scorer as well. So you got... Okay. I don't see a problem with this tactic. I think it's semi... Yeah, it's quite good. It's quite a good tactic. I wouldn't change this tactic, man. Underlap left, underlap right. So what happens is this guy goes up the pitch. He holds up the ball for somebody. Okay, this makes sense. This guy's going to love an underlap. This guy so can. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it can work, 100%. Okay, let's go. I wouldn't change his tactic. His tactic is fine. Maybe race mentality, occasionally, at the counter, um, and get stuck in or move this up, move this to neutral. That's it. There are only three changes you will make to this tactic. This is actually a good tactic, Alfro. Uh, we are playing Roma. Thank you, man, to someone on the stream or something. I don't know what you did, but something happened on the stream. I wasn't even notified. It's a YouTube alert. But thanks for subbing to the channel or becoming a member. If you are a member, please check your mail because you get you get invited to Discord. Yeah. But not on this not on this channel, on the Busternet channel. <laughs> I, I'm totally confused. All right, if you want to be a member of Discord, yeah. If you're a YouTube member, you're a member of our YouTube channel, the main one, Bustanet, you get invited there. Why don't do it here? Because of the way Discord, uh, the way the whole linking, Discord doesn't allow us to link more than one YouTube channel. Okay. So, uh, we forgot to take off Elmas, man. See, your tactic is actually quite good. Look at that. It's just waiting for those runs in the final third to happen. That's it. Okay. What you want to add to this tactic is right defense. Okay. You can see it, right? It's so clear. It's clear as daylight. It's clear as daylight to me that you only need to add runs and defense for this tactic. And it'll be brilliant. It's a nice tactic. See the inside forward is going to be... You can change it to a round daughter easily. No difference. Alright, so Elmas. It gives the ball and he runs into that. This is the problem with the inside forward right now. This is exactly what he does. So it's like... It changes to a round outer, and no there is no difference to the rule, man. Okay, done. What's the difference? Zero, nada. You, I, in fact, right now, I might, I would recommend using a round outer if you just want a goal scorer because this guy is going to be a goal scorer. The alternative thing that Inside 4 is now doing, which is even more ridiculous, is what he does is he goes all the way here, 
right? He goes all the way here, then he cuts back, right? And then he crosses with his preferred foot. Now, if he's, he's playing on the left side, cuts inside on the right side, he, when he check, does the check run, right? And he cuts inside. He's looking for a goal scorer in front of him. And you, if you have like an advance forward, a DLF on attack, a pressing forward attack, it, it's just a square pass that they play right across the face of goal, they score lots of goals. So if, that's what the inside forward brings to the game now. I don't know if I, I reported this to, there you see what I did? Rom Doubter, right? No difference. Yes, I reported this to SI, telling them your inside forward now looks like shite. <laughs> there is no role right now in the game that can play, uh, which we can use right now, that makes us create a player that plays like Mo Salah. Absolutely nothing in the game does that for us right now. Yeah. Sometimes you get high, um, you get XG, uh, high XG defeats uh, because you got to drop. Okay, this tactic, right? Okay. If let's let's go to inside forward right now. Inside forward, it can be okay. all right. High XG defeats, right? We will not know. You got high XG. Wait, you got high XG. Ah, uh, if you got high XG, and you are losing, then you have to think about your strikers. Because this guy has to be able to score goals. He's going to get into the box all the time. Okay, okay right, what we're going to do now, we got this position, right? Uh, right footed. I think Osimen likes to round the keeper. Okay, let's just try this out. Put Osimen there. He's a striker. I mean, coming in from that side, probably okay for him, but he likes to round the keeper. Maybe it might work. I mean, he's if he rides around the keeper, it's better that if he's right-footed, he comes in on the right side. Libero changes. I would change that to a ball-playing defender also. Okay, so let's just tweak your tactic right now. Yeah, we're going to start conceding goals right now. Okay. okay. And Mari Rui is injured. Mm, good breath. Okay, Fawzi Gulam, come on. Okay, DLP, box-to-box. -box. Change this to ball ping defender. Cover. All right. Now this guy, white center back. Mark Taita. Get this guy to Mark Taita tackle harder. Mark Taita tackle harder. Okay. What are you going to do now with this guy? Since he's going to only play like a goal, bloody goal scorer. Let me see narrow. Tell this player to stay wider. So you go down here. You'll do a natural overlap. All right, now um, we're gonna remove the underlap from this guy. Now, since we're gonna, he's gonna come up. We're gonna just let him attack the box a bit more. DLP box to box. DLP 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 Hold this guy holds position. He was the winger. I'll probably play him more like an F nine now. Now, to get him to drop a bit more and. You keep the ball slightly higher. Okay, I can do that. Can work. Counter. You gotta counter press myself. Counter. In this particular setup, with this this number of players, right? Roll out. Tell the keeper to play to these guys so they can bring the ball out. Okay. Standard defensive line higher. Play like this. Um. Drop this. Don't 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 give up your flanks, right? Just play something like this. Prevent shot giggle is still one two three four. One, two, three, four, or one, one, two, three, four. They'll close down the goalkeeper. All right. Um, we can play the outside trap. Nothing, nothing wrong with... Um, there's no rule that says you cannot play outside trap. I would... Not for the majority of you. I say Libero can still work very, very well. But I would, like, with the white... Because everybody wants to use white center backs. Got too many players now um, creating so much, like... If you're going to do as a libero, don't play him with ball playing defenders. Just play him with like, um, I would, slightly harder to make libero. Liberos can still work really well, but I would stay away from them for now. Yeah. They are, don't get used to them just yet. These two guys are not playing very well. Um, okay. This guy up top is already half stoned, half dead, so rather. Okay. Uh, Politano. Yeah, that's all our substitutes, man. Yeah. 
If I want to play the game higher up the pitch, I'll change this to a ball, ball winning midfielder. Okay. Alright, so we change this guy to a ball winning midfielder. Now I'm gonna start I'm gonna try and win the ball higher up the pitch. If I play the if I play a box to box midfielder, I won't be trying high up the pitch. The ball winning midfielder will carry my DLP even high up the pitch as a as a as a double pivot. So I will make those changes to your tactic. Simple changes, right? Not too much. Like I'll add the tight more, tackle harder type, tackle harder and mark tighter. I will also remove the underlap from this plank, right? I may consider changes to F9. Here, I will tell these guys to tackle uh, mark tighter as well, right? This role, I'll change it for now into a ball playing defender on cover. I won't play a white uh, libero here. Libero, you're running the risk of losing the ball here because I'm not sure what kind of players you have, right? If you have a really good ball playing defender who can bring the ball out and don't lose the ball, then okay, fine. The other thing I'll do is I'll add focus, play, focus, play left and right so that I use this, this channel to bring the ball up and this channel to bring the ball up, which is the reason why here I wouldn't use the Libero. Okay. Then uh, add the counter and then you can definitely play with us. Yeah, you can keep it like that. Just do, do this and do that. So you get one, two, three, four, or the other way, and or you can check. You can uncheck that. Your mentality push out the positive. And that's how it's, this is the changes I make to your tactic. All right, one more round of this. Okay, Jahid. And then the rest only only Jahid, huh? Okay, let's refresh this page. Yep, only one left. Okay, download. Then we get the rest. Okay. Okay. Copy. Documents. Shish clubs made up. Oh, please, yes. El Muenico. Oh, 4132. Nice. I love uh, the 4132 is very, very nice right now. Playing very, very well. 4132 and the 4312 are my favorite tactics at the moment. So much fun playing with them. My Ipswich team is just tearing through the league with their 4312. Of course, my Ipswich team is very strong. But if I was a weaker team, I'd probably think of the 4132 or the 442 Diamond, right? So they're all very viable tactics right now. Okay, and, um, okay we quick pick. Kulabali, Dem, Fabian. Like Guisa, you need flair. Oh yeah. Lobotka. We need off the ball. So we don't have player we here with off the ball. We're gonna look and see whether maybe Zielinski off the ball 15 passing vision decisions, tries killer balls. What is his condition? He needs a rest. Mm -hmm. What about somebody else? So I think the only player here who can play that is Zielinski. Lorenzo? No, not, not so much. Okay, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna hope that Zelinski doesn't uh, suffer. Please, Mertens. I mean, you are fast enough. Passing vision decisions, fly dribbling. Okay, can. Okay. All right, let's go. We might have to take Zelinski off after we see how he plays. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know when they'll be fixed. I think December would be the earliest. I think the patch is coming. Okay. Oh, I've stopped. Exciting. We already got a tactics in A15. I'm just about to pick up the rest of the tactics from the public. We shared the Discord. I shared the link earlier. All right. Zielinski. Yep, your tactic looks good, man. I mean, I haven't looked at your set pieces. I'm not looking at your set pieces, but in case people are wondering, man, how do you score the goal from the corner? Corner, attack. Yep, simple. One, two, three. It works as well. There's no... <laughs> I mean, as long as you have somebody at the near post, that's it. And I prefer having Mark Keeper. So, Mark Keeper. Okay, let's go. Uh, another corner, another goal. Oh, no.
Okay, it's coming up. I will add a few instructions. That means this is our OIS as well, all right? So, okay. All right. Okay. All right, I want to add one or two things to this. Nice. The 4132 is very, very strong. Very, very strong. I love the 4132. Okay, we're going to add something else to this mix. Gonna add this, get them to be closer to their, closer to the side. Okay, here, multi -tier. Here. Okay, that's it. And tackle harder. Grunt a bit. Work a bit harder, boys. Okay. All right. That's how it ends. Um, yeah. Okay. What I'm doing is a flank press, right? So I'm just adding a flank press to your tactic. You sent, I, Claudia Almeida, I sent to the wrong folder. I think I already sent it to the Discord folder. Yeah, I think if you already sent it, it's in. Because the Discord folder, there we go. Right. Oh. Okay. Your tactic. Okay, download this one. after that we go to the public tactics we are take i'm gonna take five tactics okay i think i announced it i announced who the tactics were just now right so we'll see how many we can cover oh, i'll try and do all of them if i have enough time usually i will we open the links up um the first five minutes of the show and then we keep the links up uh then after that for 15 minutes and i think then after that yeah that's not too bad, right? I mean, it's okay. And we've got this. Now Zelinski is getting tired, right? He can't play anymore. He's almost half dead, really. Do, 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 do. Running like a hound. This is the wing. That's the fullback, no? Oh, sorry, the striker. Politano coming back to our bus defense. Mm -hmm. Sassuolo is a damn good team huh? in Serie A. He came all the way back to help us defend. Come on. Let's go. What are your tactics? Why oh, you need one shot on target? XG them low. Mix. XG quite low, no? Your tactic. Oh man, Politano <laughs> got right through the gap, right? And then after that, <laughs> marked it up. Okay, all right. We got to bring um, this guy off now. I'll push Fabian here. I bring Lobotka, put him here. Yeah. Uh, then Osimen here. Okay, instead of Mertens. Yeah, better finish, right? For this tactic, right? Okay, sorry. For this team, I'm not saying you. I would do it for your tactic. It's for this team only. Uh, we're gonna turn this guy into the advance forward and then swap. So Simeon has got um, roundskeeper because he's got roundskeeper. I want him to come in from the right side. Oh, this is a goal. No, good defending. The, pro the challenge with all these 4 3 1 2 tactics, right? Is if your fullbacks get tired, your tactic. Struggles. Our fullbacks have gone flat, man. You got no more energy. And we don't have any other fullbacks. Got Lorenzo. Can okay, we bring Lorenzo on? These fullbacks are, are not lasting. My fullback on attack. No. 
because you got F9 on that side. Needs to do a bit better. I like the idea of the AP. Yeah. Mass and mass can work. Carry low also can work. Yeah. It's a bit. Baby, we lost to Roma, man. Shit, the first time man, we lost. What's that? That's not good enough, man. Yeah, but I probably would. I actually, this kind of a setup, right? I want these wing backs to go bombing on the flanks. Uh, focus plate on the left or on the right. I will go with making them attack duties. That's in 100% I'll do that, man. I won't hesitate. Especially since they'll be dribbling the ball down the flanks. I mean, if you play a fullback on attack, he won't dribble as much. Alright. He will decide when to dribble. But I will probably go wing backs and just get him to dribble on the flanks. They might lose the ball a half bit of the time. If that is the case, then we come in here with a wing back, right? And now what you can do with a wing back is this. Less. That's it. And then you can still do do you the solid by bringing the ball up the pitch. All right. Now let's see what we got. Oh yeah, Claudio made us tactic. Um. Yeah, to transfer the tactic first. Now look. Copy. Documents, man. I better not get fired from this job. Which tactics? We this tech this team does not use the same tactic. The ultimate psycho challenge. Portrait three eagles. Let's see. What you, oh my god! No, this won't work. There's a lot of hoofing going on. This tactic. It won't work, man. It, 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 if you are a good team and you're playing against any team in the league, right? This is gonna go like I. I am not uh, prepared to um, defend. I mean, I'm not prepared to go and attack you. So that's what a lot of these defensive teams are going to do. So when you hoof the ball up like that, it might not work. Yeah, the BFO is losing the ball a lot. Yeah, Because the, the fullbacks are not high up. They need to be high up the pitch. They need to be, act, be acting as wingers in a 4 one 3 2. That's the best way to make it work. So now this we got Mazala. This is this is a rest. This is not good, man. The wing back is gonna go up the pitch, right? The Mazala is gonna be higher than the wing back, right? When the wing back he doesn't have passing options, he's just gonna hook. Then you might as well tell the wing back to go early, cross from deep, uh, aim for the target forward. That's it. Because the, the the wing back will lose the ball. 100% this wingback is going to lose the ball, man. Break down 5 at the back. My 4 3 one, 2 tries against all the... You got a work ball into box. 4 3 one, 2 And uh, lower down your tempo. Reduce your tempo. You got to reduce your tempo. Against uh, the, those tactics, right? Where they are playing um, back 5, right? And they don't want to move. Yeah, you got to... You're going to have to do that, man. Okay, we got Fabian, Dem, Lobotka. I mean, this is a solid team. Os and we don't have really have a... Okay, we got Osimen, and then we got Insignia, and then Politano. Okay. The other thing about this target man tactics, right? When you use target man tactic, although the, the AI will launch, lo go looking for the target man half the time, it's good if you can um, use the PIs as well. Yeah, you just lower the tempo, man. That's it. That's what I do all the time. 4 3 one twos, uh, they have to, when they will dominate a lot of teams. They, have you seen my switch shape? Everybody is weaker than me right now, right? Got a lot of teams playing defensively. What do I do? I lower the tempo. Okay. Long throws are nice. Yeah, I know. I know. It, it's like an exploit. Okay. A long throw is very boring. Okay. What you can do instead of a long throw is do a short throw. Okay. Three players are short, right? I'll put a striker here. Drop you, give you to... I don't know. You got three strikers, right? So take one, two, three, okay. You see how come... 
strike there. Yeah? I guess something like this can work. I mean, like, I'm saying that. Okay. No. Uh, yeah, that. Where's the DR? Yeah, that. Oh, uh, DM. Yeah, okay. Something like this. Okay. So, we can do something like this. There are three players we can come short. I mean, short throws right now are very, very nice. Long throw, unless you have a player of 15 for long throw, I wouldn't bother. Yeah. Because right now in the game, the long throw is a bit of an exploit. So you can bet your bottom dollar SI is going to fix it. 100% is going to be going to fix it. Because there's no, it doesn't make any sense that a, play, a six can do a long throw, eight can do a long throw. I'm not saying that they can ne they should never be able to do a long throw. What I'm trying to say is that it shouldn't happen all, it shouldn't happen very often, right? Occasionally, a player with a technique or three and a long throw or three might one day suddenly, for no rhyme or reasons, hurl the ball to the far post because maybe on that day, he had something to eat that was different. Yeah, but it shouldn't happen all. It should happen with a lot of regularity. So you shouldn't depend on it. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. But short throws can be very, very lethal because you can keep the ball and maintain your attacking shape when you have the ball. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come here I'm just going to tell this guy to aim for the target forward, cross on three, take fewer risks. Okay. Because he, this Mazala is very far away from him. So he's just going to cross the ball. That's it. So we're going to try and keep the ball a bit more effectively with this guy. Because this mess is going to be very far away. He's the best team on the league. Yeah, yes. Four three one twos are very very strong, but you got to be able to launch those wing backs into the final third, and then keep once you have them in the final third, controlling the space, move them, move the defense around. They will definitely concede a goal. If you have good players, if you don't have good players, then you know that's a different story. See now, wait, the wing back doesn't screw up. We get the ball into the final third. See, this is the weakness of this tactic, right? The only weakness this tactic has is because you got three really high up, you cannot afford to lose the ball in transition. So the wing back has to be told to take it easy. Right? Don't screw things up. You run across the ball, do it from deep. Don't go down the bylines. Don't be a hero. <laughs> right? Don't be a hero. This wing back cannot be a hero. If he becomes a hero, you will lose ball. You will lose a lot of games because the ma the Mazala is going to be the one that's the real hero in this tactic. Yeah, superstar is actually the Mazala here. So don't, don't, don't yeah. this wing back's job should be simple. Oh, look at that. Nah. He keeps it simple, right? Got tight. That's, remember our OIs, right? We got a lot of OIs in this set, set up. The OIs are still in the game, right? We did, we, even though we changed the tactic, the OIs are still operating. Nice. Hey, the build up is so cool. Okay. Bang, he picks up the second ball. Not that hard. No. This is a nice save. Yeah, it's not. We just had to make one simple change to the tactic. That's all. Okay. What else do we need? Do we need to do anything else? I don't think so. This is a nice configuration. Box to box mess, DLP, wing back, wing back. Ah, the, this. Whenever you play without. Any other winger, I would always default to the wing back. Okay, now the wing back on the right. Okay, now let's say you're leading, right? And then shit, I don't know, be attacking so much, right? Yeah, this is what you can do. This is the this is the go-to for me most of the time. The ultimate easy role. Yeah, what am I doing now? Are they gonna overlap? No, they're not gonna overlap all the time. Now the beautiful thing about the wing back on defense is he crossed from deep, right? He doesn't go down a byline. But with the overlap, he's gonna be positioned slightly high up. Or if you can, I think I don't know whether it's possible, but I don't think it's possible because this low is hard coded. Yep. It's hard coded, right? Wing back on defense, not to uh, go further forward. But what I'm doing is I'm changing his mentality. In doing so, I'm affecting his initial positioning. So kind of cheating. One of these days, SI is going to remove that as well. I'm going to suspect they will eventually one of these days. So 
So he's still there. You see, look at that. He's just slightly higher now. Yeah, he's still there. He doesn't go crazy. Look at that. He doesn't go crazy, right? Look at that positioning. Perfect. We take the lead. We don't want them to over overexpose as well. So he's slightly higher. There we go. Then he plays a simple pass. Then he follows him. Plays a simple pass. He's still here. He doesn't overlap. That is why people do not... This is the reason why a lot of people don't know how to use the wingback on defense with the overlap on the underlap shot. It doesn't matter if you use the overlap or the underlap. It does not matter. Okay? It's just the initial positioning. Look at this position. This is the beauty of the wingback on defense. The same applies to the no-nonsense fullback. Very, very cool roles to use, especially if you don't lose the ball. Way better than playing a fullback on support. I hate the fullback on support. I completely detest him because the fullback on support, all he does is he gives the ball away, but you don't see him position himself aggressively. So, that's, that's okay. Right. Now we go to the next tactic. All right. Wow. Okay. Yay. Guys, your tactics are coming in. Let's put you here. Let's find the tactics first. Yeah, I have to put you here. You know, I've got to look for tactics. Okay, we got... Uh, Claudia, I made your tactics went in. Okay. All right. So these are all your tactics, guys. Okay, I'm just going to take your tactics as well. Okay. Yeah, download all... Why? Why are you taking so long to show me the download button? Okay. No, we don't have to wait here. What are you guys doing? We're waiting for the download button to kick in. Do, 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 do. How's your day? Your day fine? Okay. We gotta pick one or two of these tactics. Okay. And then what uh, we we're gonna do is we are going to play with some of them. And some of the other tactics I may not be playing through with them. I'll just be looking at the tactics and making recommendations for what you can do with your tactics. And we're still waiting for this download to come through. The link. The problem is the link hasn't come in. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. We have a technical issue courtesy of Dropbox. Of my problem. Bloody Dropbox. No, uh, higher higher tempo just doesn't shift the defense. But no, no, no. Higher tempos never create more chances. Higher tempos are the worst thing to do if you look for chances. Anybody who wrote a guide that says if you want to create more chances, play a higher tempo, stop reading his guide. Because the guy has absolutely no clue how to play football manager. He just read a rumored report from somewhere and he just put it into the guide somewhere. Any guy that says higher tempo is good for creating chances is an idiot. Don't ever go to that site again because they obviously don't know what they're talking about. It's the most garbage thing I've ever heard anybody say. Because what higher tempo does is it rushes things. The players with the ball, if they're going to play the ball further, they're going to play the ball up the pitch faster. Then they're going to uh, get these players and just, they're not going to, it doesn't tell your players to run faster. Higher tempo doesn't increase their urgency to get back into position. It doesn't do any of that stuff. It just makes you pass the ball a lot faster. So when you pass the ball a lot faster, it doesn't give your players time to get into position. So which are the tactics that suffer the most? The ones that have a lot of support duties. Higher tempo is only good for tactics that are counter-attacking tactics, where you might have one or two attacking duties who are already positioned further forward and you don't need them to do anything. They're just waiting for the ball to come. Then higher tempo makes a lot of sense because they work in counter-attacking systems. So higher tempo only is great for counter-attacking systems. For systems that want to break down the stubborn side, higher tempo will not work. Sorry for being so aggressive. And if any of you as a guide, writer of a guide somewhere, I'm sorry I've heard your feelings, but hey, somebody had to do it, right? Because I'm not a nice guy by nature. <laughs> Shit, I can't even get this damn file loaded. Okay. Where am I putting this file? I'm trying to be nice about it. But sometimes, you know, somebody might see something. I mean, I'm... Uh, I just want to be direct. I'm, I'm, I'm old enough right now. I have no time to mince words. If you're shit, you're shit. Just go say it. Isn't high tempo good for getting the ball to attack him who can create more danger? High tempo is only good for counter-attacking tactics. Yes, high tempo will result in a lot more long shots. Higher tempo is going to create a lot of wasted chances as well. It's 
painful, man. I know some people might not like it, but hell, man. I, I, I'm like, I can't do this. Uh, I'm too old for this Mickey Mouse shit. What? Protect other people's feelings. I don't do that, man. You don't like it? Uh, this, Almi, this is Andy's tactic, right? We've seen this already. So we've seen the sexy football tactic. So we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. Congratulations. We go to the narrow wood first. Woodzilla! Oh my god, a diamond. What a nice tactic, man, diamond. You see, I have the... I've got the editor here, right? I can always go in and make all my players fit again, but I haven't done it yet. Be very high te high tempo is very good for some setups, right? Where maybe you've got like a lot of support duties, right? And you're kind of playing very narrow. See, you have to understand how high tempo works. High tempo is possible really quickly. But if you've got a, like a very fluid setup that can move up the pitch and down the pitch very quickly, then yes, it might make sense. But what if but because so many support duties, everybody is moving out the pitch together, right? What happens if you come up against a stacked defense? Then you are against a stacked defense, right? And then you're just moving the ball really quickly, trying to work chances. And then you hear advice, right? Go wider. We all do that. It makes sense. Go wider, right? But when you go wider, then the support duty might not have time for you to get into an attacking position. So then it falls apart. It's easier to to try and beat a, a stack defense with a low tempo type by going lower tempo. It's easier. I'm not saying high tempo doesn't work. I'm just saying it's easier to do it with a low tempo tactic. A higher tempo tactic, well, it takes a lot more work. Yeah. I know, we're coming, we're coming. Don't get excited. <laughs> These are all the tactics we loaded. Why are you such a, you know. Okay, I mean, Joaquin Bobis, Ngurno, Matt Wood, Min Ngo Ngo Bivin Okay, your tactic uh, Casey, your tactic Andrew, your tactic Okay, Andrew Have I seen this tactic before? Sexy football? Ah, uh, hey. Oh, Andrew, no We're not going to use your tactic We only use this guy I think Andrew is seen your tactic really. Alright, we got Narrowwood Your tactic oh, I love a diamond, man I swear to God I love a diamond Diamond one of my best I mean, diamonds are My best friend right now Okay, this is not, not necessary But it can still work, right? Not totally necessary In football, football manager 22 Mass for Mac, Mac, DMM, AP. It is a good tactic. Nothing wrong with this tactic. Maybe higher mentality will good, be good for you. A uh, higher tempo. Okay, let's see this work, right? Okay. Football going. Hey, this might work on high tempo because you got two attack duties here. You got these guys bombing up the pitch very fast. You got ball playing defenders bringing the ball here. No playmaker here. Nice. Ball playing defenders going to come up the pitch here. Play the ball. He might play an early pass over the top for this guy. Here is a pressing ball. Okay. Here, this one, it could work. But let's say we're playing against a team that wants to sit back and defend. I will probably remove the high tempo. No worries, man. Don't have to apologize, Andy. I figured as much. All right, here we go. Bang, bang, shakalaka, boom. Oh, this is fun. This is the battle of the narrows. And two narrow tactics with the wing backs. We have a look. I won't. I won't be looking at set pieces, but this is this is okay. See what's happened. Are we gonna play until the forty fifth minute? What are we playing? FB Fenerbahce. Okay, this is a defensive tactic. Long throw. Oh no. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is an easy goal, man. Yeah. For me, right? If I, I will try to get used to. I will try and get used to not using a long throw so that you can see whether your tactic is any good. Because sometimes you, if you get a goal, one goal from a long throw, after that, what happens is your the whole game fall, falls into your lap, right? Uh, this is good because you see your wing backs are so high up the pitch, you're dominating possession. And then you got long throw from there. But you see wing back, see, watch this, right? This is why I like the wing back on attack. Look at that, right? This is why the high, the high tempo here makes sense. He gets the ball. He goes here. He gets the ball. He's going to play here. How to come I know that? Because in a high tempo tactic, they always look for the first option to play to. So this is high tempo at work. 
So it's, they don't wait for the wingbacks. You see, the wingbacks are getting up the pitch, but did he wait for the wingbacks? He didn't, right? So he went up. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this out. We drop the tempo down to this and we go work ball into box. Hey, wait, wait. We'll just remove the work ball. We don't have work ball into box. So we only have one thing. Yeah. You just copied. You don't score them goals in your safe. Wow. So in the hands of me, like, suddenly it's got nothing to do with me, man. It just so happens in our game, it just happened. That dumb luck. Yeah, the ball gets out of the pitch quicker, so your place have to be there before the ball. And they always go for the first option. That's a probably low tempo, uh, high tempo tactics. Then, right, if you score the goal, you, you can't see that, right? That's their highlight. That's the worst part. Okay. Yeah, we got... Oh, man. Okay, now we're going to try and help this guy out. Okay, pressing forward to attack. AP on support. Yeah, he's going to hold... Box to box midfielder. Wing back on attack. Okay, still can work. All right. Play our defense. Okay, now we're going to work the ball into the box. We're going to dribble. Uh, we can't do this. Doesn't really matter. We got to take this off. Take this down by one notch, right? Okay. I'm going to go positive mentality. You don't need to... You don't need to mark. Like, so... You don't have to do this. But what we're going to do here, we're going to do something different. Right? Okay, where's the bloody... Thing here? Okay, drop this. Okay. Come in here and tell this joker, mark tight, close down more. Come in here. Mark tight, close down more. Okay. And do you notice something? I'm not going to do it to everybody else, right? Only this guy, no? Mark tight. That's it. This guy. Dribble more, move into no Rome. Uh, mark that. No, he's a dribble more. Okay. This guy is it tackle harder? Mm, yeah, possible. Yeah. Take more risk, less often tackle harder. Just gonna hoof the ball. I know. Okay, you want an intercontinental ballistic missile? Then I think that's what you want. Okay, so you do this. This guy's gonna be a channel runner. Okay, done. If you want to do take more risk, you're sending the ball into the channels. Okay, all right. Roll it out, counter press. Uh, roll it out again. Um, yeah, fine. Roll it, roll it out to all three. So you give yourself an option. Because you got wing backs on attack, right? So sometimes the wing backs are high up the pitch. So I make all these changes and we almost get a gold, man. Almost, almost, almost. In trade, they don't spend 30%. You're, con you're conceding a lot using this. Yeah, you will be conceding a lot conceding this because it's a narrow system. You have to be a very good team to play this kind of attack thing because your wing backs are very attacking. So after you take a lead, what do you do? You take this lead, right? This is what you do in your tactic. Wing back on defend. That's it. Wing back on defend. And then tell this guy to sit up high up the pitch it does an overlap so it's why am I adding overlap I'm not adding overlap because I think I want it to overlap I'm adding overlap because I just want it to be positioned high up the pitch that's all <laughs> that's it that's what the instruction really it does as well I mean in terms of overlap it doesn't not really important okay because it's not going to overlap it's just positioned high up the pitch because the wingback attack is just going to bomb up the pitch right now the wingback on defense is just going to be positioned high up the pitch but it's got defense duty it's going to play simple it's going to pass the ball inside if he has to or he's going to pass the ball from deep Let's see. Trust me, four for two diamond. The you rise and fall with your wing backs. That's all, and you have to play with uh, central midfielders who can tackle and win the ball. You see, all I did with your tactic was I included tackle. All I did was I added tackle. What I what I did was I drop this. Remember, you know this is a drop it to here. Then I added added uh, this tackle harder. Went up to here. What am I doing? I'm doing a telling only these guys to win the ball, to go left and right, right. So then we add this is he's already doing this. We went up to here. We did this as well. Um, Mark Titus. So he does the he keeps on the shoulder and you know does gives, gives them a lot of problems. Then just now what we did, we drop the tempo down because we don't lose the ball. We work the ball into the op opponent's box. You can add run a defense if you want. Then. Give you the option of distribution, distributing the ball. Give the keeper the option. You see, 
this is fine right so this is fine you can you can do this if you want to add stuck in you can now we also went on a positive mentality thing is this is fine in most cases but what if you lose the ball what if you can if you can't build up play it's going to be because of these two wing backs are not very the alternative is once you have taken the lead you might can go wing back on defense wing back on defense but never play full back you're not gonna survive if you want to play this you have to have good wing backs you have to have to have good central midfielders who can win the ball tackle and you know are good with the ball right a 4-4-2 diamond will fail if any one of these two guys can help you. And then, um, yeah, that's it. I didn't have to do anything else with this tag thing. I dropped the tempo against a weaker side. Against a stronger side, you can do something like this. If you do higher tempo or maximum tempo, what's going to happen is this wingback is going to come up with the ball and just going to boom, ping tong, ping tong the ball all day long. All right, so you might. So you, you want your tempo to be matching your mentality as much as possible. Oh, that's how I play it. If you go mix crosses, occasionally they won't go down the byline. If you play, if you play, uh, okay. The other option is, you see these two rows right now, they're going to go down the byline. See this? They're always going to go down the byline. Plus you have to take more risk. Remove this. You don't need this. You don't need this. Okay, remove all these instructions. What this does is just pings the ball down the line. You're just giving the ball away. Okay. So you, I would recommend you start with wing back attack. Uh, this is good for if you can if you can uh, overpower the opposition. You can't go to wing back support. Nothing wrong with this option. Okay, this option can still go down the flanks, but here you got a choice. Cross from deep means that your wing back is not going to race ahead of your central midfielders against stronger competition. You can also attack the triple less. That's one option. Okie dokie. We got a next tactic. Uh, public. Okay, we have done narrow. We're going to look at... Let's see, who's going to get the next one? Okay. 442. I love this, man. Winger attack. So I, mean, I decided that a long time ago. <laughs> I saw a 442. I saw a 442. I wanted it. Hey, this is nice. Don't change your tactic. Your tactic is actually very nice. Okay. The only problem is this. Okay. The reason why that's a problem is... You got wing back of support coming out of the pitch. Wing back of support. You got these two roles. This is what I call a very aggressive middle pivot. They are going to try and win the ball high up the pitch. When they try to win the ball high up the pitch, you need these two guys to actually help you bring up the ball. So both of these guys have to be ball playing defenders. Right? The second issue that you have is because you're playing on wide settings, the first option for this tactic is always good to go to the flanks. Okay, it can work if you've got good passing. If you don't have good passing, then I would recommend just drop it to this setting. If you play on standard and slightly higher tempo, that's fine. It's just mixed passing. So sometimes they play short, sometimes they play long. I won't change this tactic too much because it's actually a good tactic. We just need to understand what all this does to you. Okay. If you play on stand, shorter passing, it means that these guys are always going to look inside for their first pass. Then this player is going to play long. Maybe this player will play long, this player will play long. That's all. So it's kind of an okay thing. Dribble mode, I will remove this as a PI. Yeah, don't ask them to dribble more. You already got ball playing defenders. They already dribble more. You want them to dribble a lot more, they lose the ball. Ball winning midfielder is fine. Roaming playmaker tackle hard. Okay, can, can work. Inverter winger here. Yeah, maybe mark tighter. It could be an instruction. If you want this wing back to do a natural, like go down the flank, give teams a lot of problems, play this guy, then you sit narrower. Okay. What this does is, when you tell him to sit narrower, he comes a bit, he comes inside, right? This guy can go around the camel's ass. Okay. To create chances for the rest of his teammates. Where you can take advantage of this by having an overlap as well. Then this guy also, his mentality is reduced. Together with these two, they will look to unlock this side of the pitch. You got advanced forward riding down this way. And you've got pressing forward here. This should be flipped. You should play the pressing forward here. And you should play the advanced forward here. Why? Because the pressing forward is going to keep that uh, defenders in check, right? So he's always going to be on the shoulder of the defense. He's going to keep the defenders occupied. Now, when he keeps the defenders occupied, it gives this guy time to run. They will pull the defense. See, they will pull somebody out of position. The central midfielders will get out of pull out of position. They can now they can ping the ball to this side where you got these two roles attacking. You got a wing on attack, going this way, giving you width, and you got to advance forward, also attacking. So you got to have these options to cross the ball into this area. So this is 
once you have seen those transitions building, you can easily go to this as an instruction. You play a very fast game. Take short kicks, distribute center backs is okay. I'm not a big fan of take short kicks. In terms of difficulty level for keepers, this is the lowest difficulty, this is the second lowest difficulty, this is the third. So in terms of ease of instructions, right? Depending on your keeper, most times roll it out is the safest option. Throw it long is the second safest option. Take short kicks is actually the third. Because take short kicks means he plays the ball on the ground and he's always kicking the ball. What if you're, you're encountering a high press? That could be a problem, right? That's why I would always favor roll it out as the first option. Post opposition, I was like, don't do this. Not until you're very comfortable with your team. If you're very comfortable with your team and you know that you can draw opposition teams down your flanks, then good. If you do this, right, this is a natural, very direct tactic. Okay. Because he's got these two guys up top and this guy charging down the flanks and these guys, you can actually like, can play on a slightly higher tempo. Because these guys are already in attacking positions, including this player. So they won't waste much time, they just ping the ball. These two roles and duties are going to try and win the ball here in all position thirds. So you don't have to change very much. You can actually play with a standard defensive line. A higher defensive line commits these players into an attacking transition almost all the time. And you can play a standard defensive line. If you find yourself against a team that's a you know, Mickey Mouse and they can't really handle your defense very well, you push this up, they add the offside trap. Why? Now you've got very shallow defense. The problem is, right, the reason why I added the offside trap is Okay. You got to watch for this in games because a ball over the top is your biggest weakness, uh, biggest enemy right now with a high defensive line. These ball playing defenders are going to bring the ball up all the time. So you're going to have what if your, your formation is going to become like this half the time. Which is the reason why I went high tempo. Ball playing defender, ball playing defender could also look for these two. Because of your high defensive line, right? If you think you don't need your ball playing defenders in the wing backs playing such a big part of your attacks, then drop it down like this. Excuse the sound because that was very rude. Uh, force opposition outside can work yeah, some of the time. Other than that, this is all you need with your tactic, man. Um, here you can mark tight, mark tight. You can also close down more, mark tighter, tackle harder. They, can, they become, this guy is going to become a defensive nuisance. Man. This guy can be told to mark tighter. He will, he will always um, sit on the shoulder of the fullback, the other fullback and give him a problem. You can also tackle harder. Same with this player. Just mark title with this selective few people and you give a lot of problems to the defenses. Other than that, yeah, I would play exactly like this. Wouldn't change it. It's a good tactic. All right, next tactic. Ooh, shish kebabs. I like the tactic, actually. The 4 2 I have got a similar 4 That's why I didn't play it. I have got a similar 4 2 There's no need to show off uh, the goals, man. Okay. 4-3-3, three, three, target man. Ball winning. Uh, this, this role is a bit uh, of a problem in uh, these defenses because he, what he's going to do is going to vacate this space a lot. you got ball, two ball playing defenders, right? So what happened is, sometimes you're closing down, this guy with the ball and then this guy might be in Venus. No? He might be hanging around this side of the pitch and then you lose the ball in transition and you open the pocket up here. Okay, so here what I'll do is this guy can be a sweeper keeper on defense, keep the ball on the ground. Okay. Uh, what are you trying to do here? Balance, shorter passing, focus play down the right. Okay, I'm just trying to understand your tactic first. Okay. Hitting the early cross, you're building play up here to exploit this side. But you only got one goal scoring. Hello with this one, okay. And you're overlapping down the right. So this guy's going to check his run and then this guy's going to try and come and score. Okay, all right. This player can also be a round daughter. Like, and this, um, this can be a round daughter. <laughs> If you play inside for all he is, is a goal scorer right now. That's it. He's just going to come in between the players and score goals. That can work as well. So you just think of this. you got three possible options here. Rob Doctor, inside forward, or inverted wing on attack also is possible. He can he will take on the player and the space and try and score goals as well. Okay, all three can work. Okay, Depends on what you want from this tactic. Okay. So it's totally up to you. I will go for whichever... What if you play a invert, if you play a Rob Dalte here, he must come in on his right foot, that's all. Okay? So all three can. I'm looking at a tactic, I'm thinking yeah, it could work. But this role has to be changed. So change his role to a defensive if you lost the defense duty, that's all. Okay? That's all you do. Okay, please don't play with a fullback. <laughs> just play with a wingback on defense if you want to be, you know. You don't want him to go up the pitch. Just play with the wingback on defense. Okay? Don't play with a fullback on support. Just do me a favor. Don't touch a fullback on support in the 4-3-3. Because they got no ambition in life whatsoever. 
Okay. They just bring the ball here and then after they go, oh my god, I gotta give the ball to somebody. This guy is too far away. This guy is, I'm giving the ball to the opposition instead. That's what he's gonna do. Okay. So play with a wingman on defense. At least these guys, they run wide with the ball. They take fewer risks. And if they're gonna do, they're gonna cross the ball from deep and they'll hold their position. They'll protect your side here. Yeah. So this is one thing you can do. Um, wingman support is fine. This is fine. I like the overlap. Balance is okay as a mentality. You can also play positive. Early crosses only really works if you have a lower line of engagement or standard line of engagement because then you want to hit teams on the transition, right? You want them to lose the ball here. So if you want them to lose the ball here, all these players better be doing this. Okay, so if you want to try and win the ball in central midfield, you can play with a high line engagement or standard line engagement, but at this, get stuck in. Oh, I, I guess I did it. But this, everybody's getting stuck in, right? What I did was, I only get stuck in with this bunch. Yeah, you don't stuck in with everybody. You don't want your ball playing defender to suddenly pick up a yellow card, right? Like, that's the last thing you want. You don't want this guy to pick up a yellow card, right? So you only want these guys to pick up yellow cards. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, them, with them nice people. We only want these guys to pick up yellow cards. We already decided who's going to be picking up yellow cards. All right, so this is this can work. And then um, instead of shorter passing, play standard. Because your tactic is more of a counter-attacking tactic. Right? Because you want to hit teams on a transition. Target man or support. Mm -hmm. All right, this means that every single ball is going to go up to him quite often. He, he might come in here. So add one funky thing to him. Move channels. So what now he does, what he does now is he goes, he left and right to hold out the ball, right? Guess who he's going to give the ball to? Hey, anyone of these two coming in? See what you've done? You give him a roam and ask him to move left and right. So what do you do with this guy now is, hey, target forward. Hey, target forward. So when they cross the ball, you can either aim for the target forward or in this particular case, send it to the left flank. All right, far post is this guy's going to come in. That's one option. This guy can also send it to the far post, right? Where, where these two guys can come in. All right, so those are your options. So this, this is how I set it up. It's a lot of fun to do it like that. This is more a counter-attacking tactic. I'm not trying to replicate anything. So if you guys are trying to replicate a tactic and send it to me and you're hoping to, you know, be able to replicate. Oh, we, Darius, we already closed the submissions, man. <laughs> Okay, so if you want to submit a tactic next time, you know, if you can, if you can, or you submit it now and then the next time do bring your tactics next week, then yours is the first tactic. There's. If you, I'll, I'll put in the, I'll put in the link again. All right. Okay. I know some of you are in here and you want your tactics to be looked at, but I haven't, I don't have time today to run and cover all the tactics. I'm always trying to cover these tactics in one go, right? We try to open the doors and get people in and then we look at the tactics. Now, I've submitted these tactics today. And since this is done on YouTube, maybe next week, we'll take a look at your tactics as well. All right, so please send in your tactics right now using that link. Don't worry, it's there. Uh, however, what I'm going to say is uh, we're not trying to replicate any tactics here. Yes, I'm not replicating. I'm not going to try and do a replication. All right, so if you, go, if you have replication in mind, this is going to be a bit harder. So this is the link. I've already got one, two, three, four. These tactics, we'll do that next week's show. So I've already got in here, so don't worry. 30th of June, 2021. 30th of June, 2021. Wait. Bring your tactics to July public. What the arena file is this, man? A request. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's a different bring your tactics folder. This is the one that you sent it, sent it earlier, right? So I gave you the link already. It will send you to this link and then you can send it. So I've already got all these tactics here. So I've got to delete these tactics. All right. So when your tactics come in, you'll still be there. Now I'll cover it next week's show. All right, so coming back to the rest of the tactics. Okay, what else have we got now? Oh, all disappeared. Okay. Load. Okay, we've done sexy football. We've done Vader Bremen. Now we're gonna look at five two three. Okay, okay. Uh, again, like Libero in front of these two is not a good idea. 
unless you're such a good player that you can afford to do this. You need a whole position here. You need this guy holding his position. So I would add whole position. You, you desperately need one in this kind of a tactic. The reason is because you've got wing white, white center backs and a libero. So if this guy doesn't hold his position, you will lose the ball. You're focusing play to the middle. This is the worst place to lose the ball because this guy is going to get pulled out of position. In fact, what you want to do is you want to use the flanks. You know, focus play down the flanks so that you can use them to send the ball into the spaces for these guys to attack. Uh, passing through space is just going to give the ball away immediately, right? So I would play with... Uh, remove this, be more disciplined. Dribble less. Why sweeper keep on attack? You're hoping to launch one over the top. That's the only reason why you play a sweeper keep on attack. Libero is a quarterbacking role, so he's going to quarterback in between these two players. So this white centre-back comes in. Um, there is no overlap, so he's just going to bring the ball here. I would probably... Okay, I would... There are several ways of playing this, right? But they're all... They can work. White centre-back, inverted wing-back. Inverted wing-back, inverted wing-back. This guy can be a more attacking role. Because these guys are more attacking, they will push up the center. So you can punch through the center. This is a very, very attacking tactic that is going to struggle against teams that are defending. So, Because these guys are just attacking, right? So what do you want from this role? It's a lot of movement. So you want this guy to pass it. This, this role needs a lot of movement. Uh, he's, got, he's already moving into channels. Remove this. We need this guy holding up position. Tackle harder, fine. Uh, this guy roll from position, move into the channels. He's going to move into... Okay, if this guy is going to do all that moving into the channels, which is he's going to come inside here to support play, This guy should sit narrow if you want to do this. No. If you want this guy to stay wider, tell this guy to sit narrow. Okay. Then this guy comes in here. This guy goes down here. This guy goes into the channel. He will play direct. Take more risk. Okay. So now what happens is this guy goes into the channel. This guy goes round. This guy is in this pocket. This guy does direct passes into this spot. This guy holds position. Either he holds position or he's actually a D, D duty, right? Libero is going to come out the pitch. He's going to quarterback. So sometimes he's going to play the passes down this side. Here, you don't have to pass it shorter, right? Yeah. I would definitely tell this player to sit narrow as well. Okay, so if this guy comes into this. They will, they will try and attack from these positions. And these guys will go around. So that's how I set it up. Again here, roll it out, distribute to centre-backs and to full-backs. The full-backs include the wing-backs. Counter, press. i actually do it this way. Counter and counter. Re re uncheck the counter-press. You can do a counter-press if you want, but I would... You want to counter some of the time, right? So... Oh, let me see. High standard defensive line. Okay, that's it. Oh, this is how I change it. So I play a standard defensive line. A uh, higher line of engagement, prevent short cooking distribution, get stuck in. Okay. Uh, then I'll add that distribution instructions. I'll come inside, I'll pass into space or remove it. Okay. Okay. That play our defense, you don't need it. Right. This guy will bring the, these two will bring the ball forward. And then from this position, they'll start looking for passes up the pitch. So pass it shorter, cross from deep, stay wider. Okay. Now this feels a bit better. Okay, now you got a whole position here, and this guy looking to channel for this area, and we got two goal scorers here. So that's how I set this tactic up. Something like this, right? This could work. Yeah, this could definitely work, man. Okay, if I put both wings on support, it's too, 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 too safe. Yeah, you can definitely play one on support though. This role, if you put it on support, right, then you get a real like a congested area here. You might have too many players here. 
that's one way of playing it. Can definitely. Might work, man. Alright, so we've done that. Okay, custom level 14. Same tactic. Is it the same tactic? Oh no, this is the one we just looked at. Okay. Alright. Okay, we got narrow done. We got positive 4231. Yay. Good old fashioned 4231. Be box to box, EM defense. Okay, full back on support. Can this keep it short? Narrow. Okay, good. This is a very safe fullback stack. You know, he, he, all you want him to do is give the ball to this guy. That's it. Yeah. Central defender, central defender, sweeper keeper, fullback attack. This is one safe tag. The problem with these tactics is right. These fullbacks are too far away from the Everton winger, so they they rely on these players to have come deep to get the ball. So both of them has to be able to come deep and get the ball. In this particular, case, maybe this role. Should also be a ball playing defender so you go more than one there's something he dribbles the ball out and brings the ball out. i don't know what kind of players you have but uh i would stick to a central defender for now maybe here okay you got a full on attack can work it's a very safe tactic there's nothing wrong with this tactic it's safe you might struggle to create goals against really good sides because you're not as ambitious, you're not very aggressive down the flanks with these guys doing natural like overlaps and putting pressure on defenses. Like this role can should be a wing back on support. But if you have the player for it, that's a problem. Right? If you have a ball, you have a player who can win the ball here, that's what you want. And the player who can come who has come deep to get the ball. Right. So this is the reason why this tactic might be okay in the hands of an average team, but if you cut if you come a yeah, sorry, it might be okay in the hands of an average team playing against a you know a so so defense. Yeah, if you, I guess it's much. Your BPD is kind of bad, right? So you play CDs, but if you play against really really good teams, you might have a problem, right? So then then you have to think about how do I get the ball up the pitch? Um, okay, what you do is you focus play down the left. You inverter winger here, fullback coming to say inverter winger is here, right? So you focus play down the left so that you bring more players to the right when you have the ball. That way, you can use this side of the pitch to score goals. So add the focus play down the right for you. And work ball into box only against weak sides. Against good sides, you remove this. Then you can play something like this. All right, then you want to get the ball up the pitch. If you are against a weaker side, you do this work ball to boss. Otherwise, don't. Okay. Um, yeah, I would definitely not play this. I'm as I'm so against this in FM22. You can use tighter marking again. You can tell these guys to help you with your press by doing this on all of them. <laughs> this crest lies, I would remove that, right? You need him to be crossing. He's gonna be a creator. So you get this, all these guys to help you store. I mean, you can even tell this guy to sit narrower. Right, so you can be a bit more effective as a goal scorer. This player is just there to help you. But if you have problems linking up, go with a wingman on defense. Right. He brings the ball up. Eh? Only crosses from deeper areas. He runs to the ball at least. But he doesn't, you know, go down the flanks. Right, so that is an option. BPD, I love BPDs, but you need the right players for them. Right now, BPDs are way too strong on football manager. I'm expecting them to address that in a patch um, in December when they have the BPD coming out. Because the BPD is too strong right now. He's just, he's just, an, ex he's just an exploit waiting to happen when the hands of better players. Better players are going to exploit the role. I guarantee you. Okay? Uh, you see anybody who's playing a BPD and doesn't get him to become a king of the pitch, then, you know. But the BPDs are too strong right now. I mean, nothing is stopping them from bringing the ball up, man. Literally, I'm like, looking. you look at all the transitions, yeah. It's a big, big issue. Here, yeah, so here in this setup, this is how I set it up, right? DLF on support, AM, AM on attack is fine. Add a funky move and roam. So it supports left and right channel. 
So this is what I want to do with him. So he goes drifts ref and right. He will support the channels as well. So he will support this guy. He will support this guy. DLF will support and add all this. Uh, this sit narrow here because we want we we just want it to be a bit more effective as a goal scorer. Otherwise, he comes into this pocket, right? He's just gonna check, turn on his favorite foot and cross the ball. Guess who's gonna come in and score goals? This guy. Yeah, I remove the dribble less, but overall, yeah, this can work. This can definitely, definitely work. All right, now I would love to look at all the other tactics, but we are struggling for time today. Um, I already put a link up. Actually, we only got the two of you. Okay, okay, I'm gonna look at the two of you. We got Darius and Diago Misa. Might as well look at the two of you. Okay, all right, we'll do all the tactics then. Don't be such a git. Okay. Yeah, we got there's other two tactics. Okay, done. No, no homework to catch up on. <laughs> right, okay, downloads. Wait, 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 where is it? Hey, there we go. This is one. Yeah, seven zip extract files. Why can't you remember where I asked you to extract the files? Yeah. Computer. I've done it once. You should know by now. I'm always going to this folder. Must I always do this? Okay, done. All right, let's look at the next few tactics. Okay, load, EYT, public, but two. Being Guardiola. <laughs> this is so, I love the name of your tactic, Being Guardiola. F9, F9. Oh, Being Guardiola means inverted wing back. I, look, you call it inverted Being Guardiola. I'm just doing it. I'm just helping you out, man. No, you can even play with the email support. Yeah, you are being Guardiola. Huh? This is being Guardiola. Huh? <laughs> I didn't even look at attack there. I just went straight and changed all the roles and duties. I'm such a mean old man. Okay, that's it. Done. Being Guardiola. You are a Guardiola, right? Okay, why did, I, why did I do all this, right? Okay, reason is very simple. Yeah. The inverted wing back right now is way too good. It did just come in here, come here. But problem is you got inverted wing back, ball playing defender, ball playing defender. So we change it to center back. Yeah, center back. So we don't have these two guys doing the whole hustle the ball in the air. So now the inverted wing backs go in and they do their Trent Alexander passes. Then Mazala comes in here. Mazala comes in here. F9 drops all the base. Inside four because of goal scorer, except he's going to get a scenario. Yep, that's it. Nothing else. Overlap. Hmm. In this particular case, the left. Checks the ball, checks the ball. Mazala going to score goals. F9 dropping deep. Playing all kinds of tricky passes. This can work. This can definitely work. I don't know who stacking this is, but we just did a very quick one. Hey, be, you wanted, you wanted being Guardiola, right? So I just helped you out here. <laughs> I got nothing to do with me. I just, I saw the name and I was inspired by your name with your tactics. So I decided to change it straight away. Yeah. Okay, work ball into box for more. You can do the whole uh, run and defense if they don't like it. Yeah. Counter press, counter. No, okay. Whole shape. Whole shape. Press whole shape. Move them around like Guardiola. Lower line of engagement. What is this? Why lower line of engagement? Go higher. Okay. Standard line of engagement is fine. Right? Yeah, that this can that can work. But this is this is gonna be different, right? Because Mazar is gonna attack, Mazar is gonna attack. DLP is holding his position. Right? You can play a DLP on D as well, then you get a tree. Then these guys come in here, come in here. Mazala attacking this way, Mazala attacking this way, inside for going this way, inside inverted winger coming here. The only problem is this inverted winger and this inverted wing back is gonna they're gonna be a problem, chat. They're gonna be a problem. So you can do it like this. Winger support. And tell this guy now to play direct, take more risks. And um cross from deep. Okay. That's it. Now you got. Yeah, they will move here. They move here. They move into this channel here. They move into this channel. So inside four will come inside, right? They inverted wingers will come in. Can be quite funky. Just just try it and see, man. Can be very, very funky. Okay, this is one way of playing the tactic. But your original tactic. Okay, let's look at the original tactic again, right? Because I went through the tactic, I literally carved it up straight away, man. That's not so that's so not so nice, man. Tiago Misa. Mass attack, mass DLP, wing back, wing back. Okay, this can work too. There's nothing wrong with this tactic. 
I, I just saw the I just saw the word being Guardiola and I want to change it. Uh, wing back, inside forward. I wouldn't play inside forward right now here. I'll play inverted winger. On support. Then you get his wing back coming and he's going to create chances for this guy who's hitting narrow. That's it. Yeah. That's how I set it up. Yeah. Other than that, I won't make, I won't make, if you want to maintain your original tactic, right, play mixed crosses. Yeah. I would probably slightly shorter, lower tempo, st uh, stand, something like this and lower tempo. Yeah. Lower line of engagement, play slightly style. Lower is too low. You're defending inside near your box. Go standard. Right, or higher. Right, because if you play low, it's very low. It's like literally defending on top of your penalty area. You don't want that. Because you're counter, you got no counter attacks. This is a final third dominating tactic. It's not a defend tactic, right? So don't play with a... Uh, either play much higher or higher. Don't play anything lower. It's just too risky. All right. Because you are... If you, you can't play an F9 in a tactic that is meant to be counter attack, uh, low line engagement tactic. Okay. Darius... Palmer, your tactic. I recall this tactic. <laughs> this is a uh, nice, nice. Mass coming in this way, wing back going this way, under left, left, right. I knew it. Okay. All right. He checks the run. Mazala, they're going to look out for this. Oh no, don't play completely forward here. He's going to roam too much. Play a pressing forward on attack. Keeps the, the defenders check, right? Then what will happen is because you got this creative fulcrum here, they are going to unlock this side of the pitch. These guys are going to keep the defenders occupied. Don't play a complete forward support because this guy still runs into the channels. Uh, I change the passing to slightly more direct or you can play it. You can play it on slightly. Yeah, yeah this can still work. Right? Just changing for the sake of changing. Football and two box can be removed. You can play on standard with. Yeah. Roll it out. And slightly higher. Play nearer the halfway line. This is like almost on the halfway line, right? So this is this is good enough. Yo, baby, can work. Okay, and then come in here, mark tighter, tackle harder. Everything for everybody, you know, give, make life a mis living hell for the defenders. Yeah. Make life a living hell. Yeah. Car is fine. Yeah, yeah. that's it. I wouldn't do anything else with this tactic. This tactic is actually very good. Yep, you're doing that. I just tweak your... But the complete forward will not help you out on the right flank. Yeah, because you want to you want to take advantage of the overload. So what you're going to do with that is you're going to put the pressing forward, you're going to tie down the fullback on the other side. And then, then, then your advanced forward is going to have a lot more space. Make sure your advanced forward has uh, uh, lights to break offside track. If he has it, even better. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's Bring Your Tactics and you found it useful. We covered all the tactics that were sent in today, including the ones from uh, YouTube today. So I hope I managed to get all the tactics. The links were available earlier. And uh, we also um, were able to cover all the tactics on Discord as well. There's quite a few. If you want your tactics to come in next week, yeah, pop in. Um, and or if I'm on YouTube, any of these days, uh, and I'm doing a live stream on Friday, right? I'm doing a live stream on Ipswich. If you want to pop in even for a short while and say, hey, I want to have a tactic for next week, then I'll give you the link and you can pop it in again. Uh, would you use an AP instead of it? No. Uh, no, I'll probably use an inverter winger more than AP. Yeah, because AP there is going to attract the ball. Right? Inverted Winger and Mazala, they get interchange. That's a beautiful thing about the two roles. They actually switch around sometimes. Huh? And it's very nice to look at. If you get the right kind of players, yeah, then you can create some very nice patterns. Okay, guys, thanks for popping in today. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Uh, and I shall see you again on Friday. Friday, we do Ipswich Town. We return. Yes, it's uh, time to lift the trophy. Lift the title in... January. <laughs> We're lifting the title in January, I think. <laughs> That's how early we're lifting the title. So strong. Well, we got already... The idea was we knew that the first season was going to be a chal not challenging. <laughs> we are planning for next season, right? So we've been having a lot of fun with that save. Goalkeepers scoring goals. Goalkeepers being sent off. Goalkeepers, reserve goalkeepers scoring as well. Absolutely insane. 
So I thank everyone for coming in today. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you found it useful. If you didn't get a tactic this Saturday, don't worry. Um, visit me on Friday or Saturday even and uh, ask me to provide the link and I'll try my best. And you, yeah, I will provide the link. You guys or whatever, you know, the link, I put it in chat a few times. Then the link, use the link. The link is there. Pop in the link right now. The link is there. Put in your tactic and on the next Bring Your Tactic show, we'll take a look at it. You guys, the, don't worry, the links are not going to die. They'll be there for a while. Yep. I will only take tactics that are uploaded today. Right? So if you upload the tactic tomorrow, I'm not looking at it. So it's going to have today's date stamp on it. Okay, you guys stay safe. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.